Let's talk about the Genesis Terminal system, why we even have it, and explain some of the things that are unclear right after Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is an automated service that lets you trade skins instantly for a fee, sign up now, and get up to $5 bonus. Simply add items from your inventory, then find skins that matches your current balance. Site offers live support 24-7. You can also top up your balance if you're missing a few dollars, and there's a lot of skins to choose from. Visit my link down below to get to Skins Monkey. The show off update introduced the Genesis collection, which you'll sometimes get in your weekly drops, or you can buy them from people selling them on the Steam market right now. Inside one of these is a collection of 17 skins without the yellow items, such as knives. Unsealing the terminal is free, but then you can no longer trade or sell it on the Steam market. Once it's unsealed, the arms dealer agent will start offering different skins at random from the collection which you can accept to buy or pass. You normally get five offers, but I got six on my first one. You can decline every single offer, then the terminal gets deleted. If you buy one of the items, you get a ownership certificate, and then the item is tradable or marketable after seven days. You can also decide to pause if there's an item you like, then the terminal stays active for three days, and if you open it up again, you'll see that same item you decided to wait on. But in short, this system is clearly gambling in disguise. The difference here is that there's no entry fee to play, it looks like you're the one with all the freedom by choosing to accept or decline different offers, but the risk and reward loop is still still the same with the uncertainty and fear of missing out on good items. But then of course you also have to pay for the item you get, which could end up being an insanely high amount. Imagine a scenario of a kid winning, then asking their mom for $1600 to buy a skin from a video game that they just won but didn't really win. Mm. When you say it out loud it just doesn't sound good at all. But why then? Why did we get this instead of a regular case? You probably have your own guesses, post them down below if you want but they're most likely experimenting with this stuff because of legal pressure and the world becoming more aware of, you know, loot boxes being bad. Right now, Valve makes billions from keys, which open cases. It's very likely their main source of income alongside the Steam market fees. But with this terminal, there's no key. It's free to open. So Valve knows they would only make money if you actually buy the offered skin. But it seems they have the answer to that as well, since people noticed how they're setting the prices significantly higher than the Steam market it's usual for the same type of skins. Not sure if this plans on changing in the future, but it might scare a lot of people off from this collection. But ultimately, this is an experiment from Valve. They're basically testing if players are willing to buy from this shop-like, totally not gambling system. If it works and people get into it, this might be one of the pathways for them to get slowly away from the loot boxing field. Also, there's this XP system baked into it as well, which you can see in the bottom right. Here's how it works. Every time you cycle through offers, you essentially discover items from the collection. And once you've seen or been offered every skin in a certain tier, for example, blues, you can claim bonus XP. Before claiming this bonus for blue items, I was level one with zero XP. Then I instantly jumped to level two. So it looks like I got 5,000. I can't say for sure if this is different for other tiers, or if it counts towards your weekly drop since I'd have to try it again next week, but I'd assume anything that bumps you up a level most likely gives you a weekly drop, but don't quote me on that. And after claiming the bonus, I wasn't able to claim it again after using another terminal, so it seems like it's only possible to claim it once on your account. But the reason they added XP is to keep you hooked on the system, obviously. It's designed to keep you chasing the full set. By the way, there's very little info on how this works from Valve with no official documentation or FAQ, so this is what I was able to figure out on my own. If you made it this far, please type watched, and you can also give me your thoughts if you think we're going to see this being used more in the future. It certainly feels like it. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.